The VersaFlow is a state-of-the-art compounding aseptic isolator for compounding pharmacies. This video covers the five steps needed to prepare your VersaFlow for operation. A detailed checklist is in the VersaFlow user's manual. The first step is to select the location to place your VersaFlow. State regulations pertaining to room access or professional considerations may impact where you place your VersaFlow. Unlike an open front hood, room air currents will not adversely affect the quality of compounding done in a VersaFlow. This gives you a lot of flexibility when considering just where to place a unit. The VersaFlow should be plugged into a standard three-prong electrical outlet. This ensures that the equipment is properly grounded. The electrical height adjustment requires its own power receptacle and a 15 amp circuit. Step two, move and unwrap the VersaFlow. The VersaFlow is a complete and self-contained unit and is shipped fully assembled. Wheels make it easy to move the VersaFlow. The VersaFlow is designed to fit through standard size doors, allowing for easy installation. To minimize the introduction of contamination, remove the shrink wrap outside of the room where the VersaFlow will be placed. Roll the VersaFlow into position. Once it's in place, lock the casters to secure the unit. Step three, set up the VersaFlow. Put the pre-filter into its frame at the top of the unit. Part of your pre-filter may remain visible after it's set in place. This is normal. Your VersaFlow is shipped with gloves, sleeves, cleaning supplies, and rubber stoppers inside the cabinet. To install the stainless steel Sharps discharge tube, place the gasket between the flange and the discharge tube. Use the stainless steel clamp to hold it in place. Install the larger waste receptacle discharge tube next to the Sharps discharge tube. Place the adjustable Sharps collector shelf in place. Place the Sharps container and the waste collection box on the tray. Secure the waste bag with the O-ring. Place the rubber stoppers into the Sharps and waste tubes in the interior of the isolator. Next, install the glove sleeves. For a detailed explanation of glove sleeve installation and replacement, please refer to the glove sleeves section of the video. Step four, clean the VersaFlow. Before using the VersaFlow for making patient preparations, the entire unit must be thoroughly cleaned. The cleaning section of this video will walk you through the steps required for both the initial and periodic rigorous cleanings as well as the frequent between-use cleanings. Once your VersaFlow has been properly cleaned, you'll be ready for the final step. Step five, test and certify the VersaFlow. Every VersaFlow is tested before leaving GermFreeze factory for proper function and performance, but on-site certification must be completed before using the VersaFlow for making patient preparations. Before operating your VersaFlow, the HEPA filters, air flows, and pressures should be tested to confirm that the unit was not damaged in transit and has been properly installed. Certification of your VersaFlow must be performed by a company that has the proper equipment and training needed to test and measure HEPA filter performance. It is always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the basic operation of your new VersaFlow. Certification company personnel are very familiar with this type of equipment. Certification of the VersaFlow should be completed semi-annually or as your state or local regulations dictate. Your organization's standard operating procedures may also require periodic certification. Once your VersaFlow has been certified, it's ready for operation. GermFree recommends familiarizing your staff with how to operate and clean this equipment before compounding preparations for patient use. 